Cruising the coast, early bird registration ended on the 15th, and as of today, 8,231 classic cars have pre-registered. Here with a preview of what we can expect this year, Cruising the Coast Executive Director Woody Bailey. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Things are looking good for cruising this year. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And, you know, we got a whole list of numbers right here. Right. In 1996, y'all had just 374 registered vehicles. Yeah, pretty looking, amazing. Looking yeah. back to that time, what have you thought about the growth over the years? Well, of course, none of us ever envisioned it would grow to where it is today. You know, last year's number was 10,070 from 45 states, Canada, Germany, and England. So to have all that going on, uh, and we're in back in 1996 when we were just trying to get this event off the you know, off the ground and going. Uh, pretty pretty happy with what we've been able to do. So it's and it's doing this job. What we tried to do is to help the economy out of South Mississippi at a slow time of the year. And like I say, I, it's doing its job. I, I think we're doing we're doing well. So yeah. And what do those numbers mean this year for the local economy? Well, our we do a study every five years. We won't do one until another two years now. But in the study we did in 2021, for the three coast counties, is 33.1 million dollars. For the state overall, because I work with state tourism, we do other events in the state too. It's 36.1 million. So for an eight-day event to do those kind of numbers, that's that's great for our area. So yeah. I mean, we're probably strong with that now because we've grown a good bit since 2021. Yeah, so. that's a huge economic driver there yeah, for sure. Yeah, it is. And in terms of setup, what are you guys looking at for this year? Well, actually, we're kind of starting a little a day earlier this year uh, at the at the Shuckers Stadium, uh, Bluxy uh, Blues Club, and and the Shuckers are going together to to start. So we're going to be starting on Friday. So things are looking really good uh, to start a little bit a day earlier, and uh, we'll move on into the whole week. We've got some new things going on. We're getting into uh, having a bourbon, a cruising coast bourbon. Uh, so we've got some new things coming up for everybody to kind of enjoy and see what's happening. So. Yeah, that's exciting. And 8,000, a little over 8,200 cars already pre-registered. Y'all expecting to exceed the numbers from last year? Or? It's hard to say. We're, we're a little below where we were last year at this time, but it's only about, about around a couple hundred vehicles. And we have, we'll start on-site registration October the 7th, at Monday at Centennial Plaza. So we'll see, and we'll know that last Saturday what the final number will be. So uh, we've had a lot more people register on site uh, last year, so we may have that trend this year. So we may pick up that difference of 200 or so at that time. All right, great. Well, I know we're all looking forward to October. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. Appreciate it. We're looking